Hey guys, what's going on? This is Hilltop Tractor Salvage. Um, in today's video, I just picked up this Craftsman LT2000 for free. Um, it has some major engine issues. Pretty sure it's about to blow up. I just want to add in real quick um, before you guys tell me in the comments or whatever. Um, it wasn't just that the engine wasn't spinning over. It's we got it to start and it was like pounding and shaking the whole tractor and it was about to blow up. Um, like it, you could hear the pistons slashing against the walls, but I got an extra engine inside. Um, I'll fire this up. You can hear it, uh, but it's definitely having some major engine problems. <laughs> It's not even spinning over correctly now. Um, but we just started it up and it's rattled. All right, anyways, so we're gonna give it a clean and then we'll get it hop right into it. All right, so we got it pulled down to the pressure washing spot. So this is it before and this is it after. All right, so we got it all washed up. We're gonna take it into the shop and we're gonna see what, um, what it needs, we're just gonna engine swap it first of all. So I got a spare engine in there, but yeah. All right, guys. So we got this engine in here. A uh, little update on it. It's blown. We tried to start it and it blew up. So we got an engine right there that we're gonna put into this one. And I'm not gonna record it because um, I'd like to get it done as quick as possible. But then I will check back in with you guys once we get it in and. I'll update you guys then. All right, guys, what's up? Little update. We got it off. It, no joke, took, what, 15, 20 minutes maybe? Not even. Not even. Um, so now we're going to put this one on here. We might have a problem with the muffler, but we'll just swap them out, put the right one on, hook the deck back up, and it should be ready to go. So we just got the new engine in. That took a little bit longer because um, one of the bolts stripped out. Um, so we're going to be doing the first startup of this engine. We'll put it on idle. I hope it starts. It's been sitting over there for a little while. And here we go. Well, wow, that was easy. All right, guys, what is going on? It is the next day. Um, I just picked up a bunch of engine blocks. Uh, those will be getting their own video. It's really cool old rigs. But anyways, we are back to the LT2000. So the next problem I'm going to be addressing is that the um, the the deck is not engaged. There's no um, there's no it's just all this play here. Um, and I think I already found the issue. So there was a bunch of duct tape on here. So I'm pretty sure that this the chute uh, the plastic piece on here ripped off. I have another one around back, which I'm going to go grab. But the problem is, it's going to be pretty hard to see. Let me try to get my camera in here. If you can see this belt here, this is supposed to be around this pulley. And it goes, it's going through this spring here. So I just have to pop this around this pulley, and that should work. Because watch, whenever I go to engage it, it's not getting any play. So I'm just going to pop this pulley. I'm going to put my phone down and do this, but I'm just going to pop this right around this pulley here. All right, so I was able to get that background. Now watch what happens whenever I engage it now. See that? So this is a lot better. Um, whenever I go to de-engage, it doesn't really snap forward like it's supposed to. So I'm pretty sure that the belt's pretty worn out. So I'm going to get another belt up there, put it on here, and this should be ready to go. So I'm going to test and see if it works now.
it more, there actually isn't anything wrong with it. I thought that something snapped off here, but this is just how it's supposed to be on here. Um, it was just on there weird and there was a bunch of tape on it. That's because it wasn't installed correctly, so I took it off and fixed it. See that gap there? Just push it up in here and then I just tighten these up again. Yeah. But there actually isn't anything wrong with it, so I'm going to give this tractor a good clean and well, maybe keep it for a little bit and see if any problems. So here's a little final overview of the Craftsman LT2000 riding on tractor. This thing turned out extremely nice with minimal work for me, just an engine swap. Thanks for watching.